Shalom. This week we're back here at Beth Jacob in Beverly Hills for our weekly Dvar Torah. This week's Sedra is Sedra Shoftim, an interesting parsha. Unlike the rest of Dvarim that we've seen so far, that's been mostly warnings and inspiration to keep the Torah, this week we get more into the nitty gritty, the laws, the discussions of very particular laws. The Sedra starts off with the laws of judges, setting up courts, and that's where we'd like to investigate this week in our Dvar Torah. The Torah tells us that when we have a question, a doubt about what the halacha, what the practical law should be in the Torah, we should go to the high court, so what's called the Sanhedrin in Yerushalayim, that sits in the base of Mikdash itself, in the Lishkas HaGazis. There we should address our question, there we should get our answers, and there we should be left with no doubt. In fact, the Torah says we should follow the judges both to the right and to the left. Rashi explaining that uh, weird Lashon of to the right and to the left says, that means whether they tell us that our right is our left and our left is our right, even so we should follow them. There's a troubling comment by Rashi, and one that's unfortunately been a point of contention for as long as the Jews have been around and as long as we've gotten the Torah. How far do we have to listen to our rabbis back in the times of the Gemara and what we call the Oral Torah? Rashi seems to say that judges are infallible, and even if they tell us that our right is our left and our left is our right, we've got to follow it. Very troubling for most of us to understand. And in fact, I don't think we're understanding Rashi in the right way. If we look at the Gemara that Rashi is quoting, really a Midrash, it seems to say the line a little differently than even if they tell us our right is our left and our left is our right. It says even if they tell you what seems to be your right is your left, then you should follow them. In other words, it's not dealing with a case where the judges are clearly wrong, where they're telling you your right is your left and your left is your right. Rather, it's where there's, where there's room for discussion, where their, where their decision can be questioned. In that case, that's the case the Torah is telling us, that we have to follow the judges, even if what it seems to us they're making a mistake, we still have to follow them. Unfortunately, like we mentioned, this has been a point of argument throughout the years. And many people have not accepted the veracity and the authority of the Oral Torah. Unfortunately, they don't understand that the rabbis didn't come up with their authority on their own. It was given to them by God Himself. And that is something that we cannot question, something that we have to follow, no matter how difficult it seems, even if it seems that they're saying that what seems to be our left is really our right. Have a good Shabbos and make it a clear one.